Hello and welcome everyone. This is Karen. We are going to move through our yoga practice and then end seated for our meditation. So have your cushion, have your chair nearby, and then we'll start in a comfortable, easy pose with your hands down on your knees. And let your eyes close to start. Take a big breath in through your nose and let it fall out of your mouth. Starting to sink, starting to settle down into the space of your body. Take another deep breath in. Let it fall out of your mouth. And feel your sits bones expand and press down into the ground underneath you. Let some invite some movement into the body by just rolling the neck around and start bringing the right ear towards the right shoulder. And then let the chin drop down towards your chest, the left ear over towards your left shoulder, and then back down towards the chin to chest. And so this little half moon circles. Starting to synchronize your breathing with your movement. Starting to tune into your inner experience, inner sensations, and synchronization with your breath. And letting the movement become meditative. And then very slowly coming back to neutral. Inviting some movement into the shoulders, bringing the shoulders up towards the ears with a big inhale. Let them drop all the way down with an exhale, releasing any excess tension. Inhale, exhale, release. Take one more inhale, exhale, release. And then circling the shoulders up and around and back a couple times, up and around. And back. Inhale, lifting them. Exhale, circling back. Good. And relax the shoulders. Release the arms down by your side. Take a big inhale and lift and stretch your arms up towards the sky. Keeping the rooting of your sits bones down into the ground. Feel the lift up through the torso. Feel the spine stretching, maybe gazing upwards, stretching through all 10 fingers. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to press away nice and slow. Move through resistance here. Activating, energizing the arms all the way till they land. Good. Land your right hand down on your mat and inhale, lift, stretch your left arm up. Just until you find that sweet spot of stretch on the left side of your body. And then breathing in. See if you can use your breath to create space through the ribs here. On your next exhale, release. And inhale, stretch your right arm up. Notice if one side feels a little bit different. Very normal to have some imbalances. 
one side to the next. So feel into where your body wants to go this side. Find some space. On your next exhale, release, right hand down. Very nice, bring hands to your knees. We'll circle the hips a couple times in both directions. See if you can feel rooted through the sits bones, connected through your pelvis and your low belly. Loosening up through the shoulders and the jaw. And then changing directions. back to stillness. We'll navigate our way to hands and knees. Bring in the wrist under, under the shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Take a moment. Feel that nice length from your tailbone all the way through the crown of the head. Nice neutral spine to start. Let out all your breath. And then inhale and arch the spine. Open up through the chest. Gently gaze upwards. Exhale, pull the belly into the spine. Press the heels of the hands into the mat. Round the spine. Inhale to arch. Nice and slow. Stay connected to the movement. Exhale, round. looking towards your belly button. And take a couple more, see if you can find your own rhythm here. Nice, long, slow inhale. And nice, long, slow exhale. And come back to neutral. Good. Look over the right shoulder, bring your hips out to the right, and then hips left, look over the left shoulder. Taking the hips now side to side. As fast or as slow as feels good. A couple more side to side. And then back to neutral, moving into our first downward facing dog. If you'd like to take that wide downward facing dog, feel free to spread the feet out wide, almost at the edge of the mat or wider if you'd like, taking the hips up and taking a few long moments here to just feel it out, keeping the spine nice and long. You feel a lot of rounding through the spine, then bend the knees more to feel that nice length. Relax your head and your neck. Or you can start to walk the heels down one at a time. Or move the heels side to side. And just using this moment to invite in some movement that feels good. And again, really encouraging those long, slow, audible breaths. And maybe settling into a moment of stillness in the pose as you sink the heels down towards the ground. And then bringing the feet more hip width distance. Let's inhale and stretch your right leg up towards the sky. And as we exhale, let's bring knee to nose, pulling the lower belly in, coming forward onto the hands. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, pull the belly in, knee to nose. Inhale. Heating up through the core, knee to nose. One more, inhale. 
Exhale, knee to nose. And this time we're gonna step forward to a low lunge. So maybe coming up onto the fingertips if you need to, or using your hands to step the foot forward in between the hands. And lower the back foot, the back knee. Take your time, feel your foundation in the feet on the ground. And then inhale and bring your arms if you'd like up, or you can bring your hands to your heart center on your hips is fine. Find whatever position works for you to create stability. Keeping the two hips square, really press your back shin down into the ground. That's gonna square the hips off, really engage everything in, hugging it into the core. Keep the ribs knitted in so the core stays engaged. You're not splaying too far out. Everything engaged as you lift, find length through the spine. Okay, and release. Just let the leg relax for a moment. Slightly unbending the knee. Okay, and then let's take a side stretch. So keeping the right hand on your right waist, inhale, and stretch your left arm up, creating this nice lateral stretch through the left side. Good, release. And then bring that left hand down to the ground. Taking an easy twist here, starting to bring the right arm up overhead. And opening up through the torso, creating a twist, gently gazing up. And then release. Bring the right hand back down. And step your right foot back. Downward facing dog. And take a deep breath here, regroup. And then inhale, stretch your left leg up, point your toes, lift the leg high, exhale, knee to nose, coming forward towards a plank, inhale, stretch up, leg up, exhale, knee towards your nose, pull the belly in, inhale, knee to nose, one more, inhale, Knee to nose, and then find your low lunge. Right knee down, right top of the foot down. Inhale, and lift, stretch your arms up. Engaging all the muscles, you feel that heat generating in the body. And at the same time, relaxing the arms, fingertips. Gazing slightly up. And release the arm. Just release that leg a little bit. And kind of rock forward and back. Finding the balance. And taking our lateral stretch, bring your left hand to your left waist. Inhale, stretch your right arm up. Until you find that sweet spot of stretch through the whole right side of the body, all the way through to the fingertips. And release. And bring your right hand down on the mat. And inhale, stretch your left arm up. Just kind of lean into the hand, let the hips kind of sway over to the right, creating that nice open twist through the torso. Good, and release. And then stepping the foot back this time right into a plank position. So pulling the belly in, 
spreading the fingers wide, engaging through the core. So imagine pulling the belly back towards the spine. And we're going to roll the spine up into the downward facing dog. Inhale, come back through to plank. Nice and slow with control. Exhale, hips up. Inhale, just rolling down into plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last time coming down into plank. Hug the belly towards the spine. Lift the back body up towards the ceiling. Press into the feet. And then lower the knees, tops of the feet flat. And exhale. Lower down, elbows in close to the body until the chin and chest come down onto the mat. Good, keeping the hands there. Low cobra, engage the legs, engage the feet, tops of the feet flat on the floor. Inhale, lengthen, look up. So you feel that sensation in the lower back. We're strengthening the low back here. So normal if you have some sensation here in the low back. Very safe way to strengthen your lower back. Exhale, come down. Inhale again, lengthen, look up. Not too much, not forcing it, just creating that nice low cobra, strengthening your lower back, lower down. Last one, inhale. Look up, press the feet down into the floor, engage the lower back, inhale, look up, and slowly lower. And then press into the hands, pull your belly in, and send the hips back towards the heels, child's pose. And you'll feel free to spread the knees wide. Take a few resting breaths here. Forehead just melting into the ground. Feeling the heart rate slow here again. And evening up your breath so that your inhales and your exhales match in their length. So nice and smooth, easy breaths. And then walk your hands back towards your knees. Bring the knees together and just let the hips fall over to one side. Bring your legs out in front of you, your feet flat on the floor. Moving into boat pose, Navasana. Grab underneath the backs of the legs, the backs of the thighs. Feet together, knees together. We're gonna hug the inner thighs, hug the lower belly in. And then lift the legs so that the shins are parallel with the floor. And you want a nice long back, the shoulders stay back, pulling in through the belly until you feel the core engage. If you can release the hands without the back, rounding, and release your hands forward, start to straighten out the legs. Hug the inner thighs together, squeeze the belly in. And then hold on to the legs, come down. Very nice, planting the feet down onto the ground again. Stretch your arms out in front of you and slowly curl all the way down. Imagine you're coming down vertebrae by vertebrae. And relax the arms down. Bring the feet wide and maybe windshield wiper a couple times through left and right.
and we'll prepare for our bridge pose. So the knees straight up towards the ceiling, your palms down on the floor. Take an inhale breath and lift your hips up off the floor, press into your hands. Engage again, imagine hugging your inner thighs together. And lifting through the hips, do you feel the legs engage? Creating a back bend here for the spine. And slowly lower down. Take a deep breath. And we'll prepare for a second time. Plant the feet. Inhale, lift your hips. And if you like to walk your shoulders underneath you and clasp your hands, have a little bit more back bend here, clasping the hands. Otherwise, just keep the hands pressing down into the floor. Press the feet together, make sure the knees aren't splaying apart. Feel that big stretch through the whole front side of your body. And then slowly lower hips down. All right, and then if you'd like to bring these into the chest. Give yourself a little massage through your sacrum, just kind of doing whatever feels good here for a moment. Massaging the lower back, massaging through the hips. And then bringing the knees together, grabbing through the back of the thighs, and we'll roll up. And roll right into seated butterfly with the soles of the feet together. You can use your hands behind your back to find the right position of your hips. Using your hands, if you'd like to scoop your hips a little closer to your heels, that'll create a little bit more in sensation. If that's too intense, then keep the feet a little bit further away. And then reach down, grab the feet and open like a book. Using the hands around the outer edge of the foot. I'm going to focus on lengthening the spine first by inhaling, pressing down through your sits bones and extending your crown long. Exhaling, pulling the belly in, exhaling the air out. And feeling that nice length up and down the spine. Inhale. One more long inhale breath. This time on your exhale, melt forward, melt your head down towards your feet, even if it's just a couple of inches, just letting the back round down. If your elbows come in contact with the legs, maybe using that gentle pressure to open the knees towards the ground. Just find a place for you. You can Hang for a moment here and melt your head and your neck. And just soften yourself towards the ground. slowly pull the belly in, re-engage through the core and slowly come back up with the flat back. Very nice. And now we'll prepare for our seated meditation. 
So find a cushion or something you can use to prop yourself up. Maybe using a chair if you'd like. trying to get your hips up above your knees so you can take that pressure off and take a moment to just find your comfortable seat and then bringing your hands down on the knees letting your eyes close here for a moment And settling into this seated pose, feel again the length of your spine, your sits bones on the ground, your cushion underneath. Feel the shoulders and the jaw relax. the effects of that yoga practice in your body now, maybe some more space, some more openness. And perhaps the body feels more ready, more able to sit in stillness for a few moments, just enjoying our meditation. As you feel your physical body now begin to settle into the shape, let's start to deepen the breath again, taking some full and complete breaths. So starting in your low belly, let your belly expand and open Soften with your inhale, feel that expansion happen all the way up into the chest, rib cage, all the way up towards your collarbones. With your exhale, release all that stale air. Slightly pull the belly in, releasing any last air from the lungs. And then taking another long, slow, deep breath. See how much we can fill ourselves up with air. Imagine that your torso is a balloon, that you're expanding with air on your inhale and deflating on your exhale, pulling the belly in, squeezing the air out. Take another big deep breath. up even more and then exhale and empty it out. Take a couple of these deep full breaths. See if you can make the breath even bigger and even more even so that your inhales and your exhales match. Starting low in the body, expanding all the way into the chest. Feel that the body can expand right and left. Feel that the breath can expand diagonally in the torso. And feel that the breath can expand front to back. So both the front and back side of the torso 
We're getting filled up with breath. your next exhale start to let go of control over shaping or lengthening your breath and let your breath again fall into a normal rhythm And then bring your awareness all the way down and inside your heart space. And if you find yourself concentrated up in your mind and have a hard time dropping down, you can use your hands to tap, starting with your head, tapping down through your face, through your jaw, through your neck, down through your chest. Tapping, tapping until you find that space of the heart. Maybe placing one hand over the other on your heart center. Feeling that expansion of energy through the arms and the hands. Perhaps feeling the heartbeat. And take a moment to attune to the quality of your love inside your chest. And it doesn't have to be a huge feeling. You might picture to start someone or something that you love and feeling that quality of love expand. And then letting that person or that thing go and just staying with the sensation and the feeling of love inside the chest. And then dropping your hands down to your hips, maybe placing your hands right at your hip crease for a moment with your thumbs down, just feeling into the grounded presence of your legs, perhaps walking your hands all the way down the legs and the knees, all the way down to the feet, giving the feet a squeeze for a moment. And coming down into your grounded presence, Grounded within your body, grounded down within the space of the earth. You might feel the presence of your feet against the ground underneath you. And maybe even visualizing roots down from your feet, down deep into the earth underneath you. And resting for a moment in this grounded presence. feeling that nourishment from the ground 
come all the way up through the legs and bring in the hands maybe for a moment on your lower belly. And taking a deep breath in here into the space of your womb, your spiritual womb, whether you're male or female. And feeling into this deep place of identity in your deepest essence. And the space within you where you are continually being recreated. breath expand into your hands on your inhale and exhale feeling the belly slightly contract pull up and in back down towards your knees. Draw your awareness up again into the space of the heart for a moment. Feel that quality of love activated in the center of your chest. And now move up in your awareness to your head space, the space of your mind. And you might notice after spending this time in the body and in your grounded presence, that the mind feels unusually clear, unusually still. Let yourself rest here in this vibrant stillness in the space of your mind. Feel free, if you'd like, to extend a little bit further out into the space of the transcendent space around you, maybe even out into the cosmos above you and all around you. And then return yourself to the full space of your body, your head. 
your heart to your low belly, feeling your grounded presence. And take a moment to rest in the unified field of your whole experience. And your whole body awareness. Rest for a moment in the space of your wisdom body, in your place of deep inner knowing. And way beyond your thinking mind, and let yourself rest. In your whole body inner knowing. Very gently start to wiggle your fingers, your toes, come back into the presence of your physical body in your own space. And bring your hands slowly together in front of your heart space, maybe taking a moment to rub the hands together, just bringing yourself fully back into the space of your body, feeling that heat in between your hands. And then bringing the hands to your heart center for a moment, slightly bowing the chin to the chest, the head to the heart. And giving your heart a moment to integrate any part of this yoga or meditation experience that you want to take with you into the rest of your day or your week.
And wishing you a most beautiful rest of your day and week. Thank you for joining today. Namaste.